Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
tie wraps on the cable they're coming down for the internet and we're talking he's only got down like 50 feet uh, this is a slow process the whistling tower man this was supposed to happen yesterday but we had some nasty weather here rain and wind and uh, you just can't go up there uh, with the wind alone. You can't go up in the tower. It's too hard. He said that uh, you basically just spend all your energy hanging on. And then the old trusty nylon uh, wrap. two wraps on all that work. I mean, we won't record this whole thing, it's a slow process. Alright, Ian's getting closer to the ground. He's uh, looks like he's about 100 feet up right now. Or about uh, 75 feet it looks like. And using the tire wraps and moving down. Slow process. We're at like 40 minutes now in the descent. When he gets down to the bottom here, we're uh, going to get him to, a stick to explain the technology and how it's all connected to the internet and how I'm going to get what I need. Alright, well Ian's really close to the ground now. He's only about 15 feet up. What a process. So Ian's going to explain how this whole system works and how I'm connected to the internet. So, explain my friend. Alright, so what we do is uh, we provide a wireless microwave backhaul. So you see the black wires, they run across. So these carry, are the three wires here? Yeah, they okay. carry 24 volts. They'll, all the tie wraps will be cut off and look better. They carry 24 vol volts DC right up the tower. There's a series of antennas up there that you can see some of them. Some of them are on the far side. So are they the ones below the radio? Uh, there's the one where we just mounted your radio by the clearance lights. Yep. And then there's two more above that on this face, up about another 40 feet. Okay. So they connect back to our fiber drop in Renfrew. And the other one connects across to a uh, silo near the bar line, so there's some redundancy. Okay. So if the system fails, you fail route through. So then the signal comes back down, goes through just a switch right now, but we'll put a router in here and uh, back up to your service and across to you. And you should be able to see upwards of 30 meg on that if you want to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Now Mike was saying theoretically that this could actually do over around 100. Uh, that link right now, we clocked it in at 118. 118. Yeah, so. and we can get upwards of 240 if we try. On this system? Well, yeah, but you have to be, you have to spare what you're doing. You have to be careful with how much you're sending because you're actually uh, using radio spectrum and there's not much available. Okay. So this is a relatively light link, so we're only running uh, 130 meg here. But on the main backhaul, we run 300 meg. Okay. So we can cart, on a busy night, we hit about 600 meg combined on all of our drops. So you're just, you're a small drop in the bucket. <laughs> no problem. All right. All right. So that's well, the, that's well, the technology man. behind getting the ducks live on the internet. Yep. All right, we've got the, uh, well, Ian's got the uh, dish installed now on my pole. We did a uh, speed test and uh, it's just over 100 megabytes up. So this actually could stream uh, 15 channels HD of duck action to YouTube. That's exciting stuff.